Amo Sion Grace has chosen the kata Chatnyara Kushanku. That's the version of Kushanku from Chapan Ariara. Watch the speed of this opening technique in this cutter is, is brilliant. She has great, great execution. I know she works so hard on the most minutest of detail. Those seven judges are considering a whole range of aspects of the kata, the stances, the techniques, the transitions, the breathing, the strength, the speed, the balance. So much to consider. And so many things can go wrong for the player. Not a lot going wrong here, though, at the moment, is it? But she's, that's good to see. She's really executing at the moment. She's in the zone right now. And you mentioned one thing about the speed and she is so fast and so precise. This is a great attribute of hers. She performed Papuren in the quarter final and Superempe in the semi final. And choosing the right catter against the right opposition is very, very careful, isn't it? It's the difference between winning and losing, especially at this level. And so she this is her number one catter. And it would require nothing less against Shimizu. That's a castle to be proud of. It's going to take an exceptional performance to um, to beat her today. And she couldn't have done any more. She'd, whichever way the result goes, mm -hmm. she's done her absolute best. And that's all we require from her. Now, you're the national coach, coach in uh, Hong Kong, China, for um, the whole program. That's right. But your expertise right. is predominantly Kumite, and you have kata coaches as well sure we have kata coaches there's one in the chair kelly uh grace's coach is uh she lives in miami based in miami uh sensei robert young and she's been working with him for the last few years and uh doing doing very well it's taken her time to, a little bit of time to transition but now she's really executing now it's time for shimizu kyo her choice of kata chibana no kushaku. Uh, interestingly, the Karate One Grand winner <coughs> went for bronze earlier. <coughs> ono Hikaru. And the reason she was going for bronze is because she was defeated in the semi final by Shio Mizu. Just goes to show how close they are oh, in margin, ability and level. Margins, yeah. So much at stake this year, William, isn't there? Because the 
Olympic and double world champion Sandra Sanchez from Spain has retired now. That's right, that's correct. So it's time so for a new Queen of Qatar to be crowned. And I think there's three in the mix right now. Yeah. Ono Shimizu Grace. Yes. Um, yet to be determined <laughs> because they're, they're beating each other at the moment. And the big jumping Toby Maigeri. Thank you. And uh, Burak and Uch at this side. Two excellent kata, both Exceptional. worthy of a world Exceptional. final um, in the Karate One Premier League. I, I am, of course, biased. <laughs> well, but uh, you could, you're allowed uh, to be. But uh, only, you know, in this case, but in terms of recognizing outstanding performances, uh, Shimizu just delivered a fantastic kata. We will uh, wait and see in just a few moments after the chief judge, chief referee, makes their way to the other side of the tatami and test the score. So nothing more can be done by, from the athletes. These are all the judges. They've made their decision in turn, uh, completely independently. Top and bottom scores taken away. The balance will reveal a score. We'll see what that score is. But before that, there will be an, an award to either blue or red. Are you right, William? Is it going to be Grace? Unfortunately, oh, not this time. Not this Fortunately time. for the chicken, chicken, hold her head up and look at the scores. Just, just 0.5, 0.5 difference in the scores. So.